So coach, I know, uh, I'm sure coming off a uh, loss to UIC, you, you wanted to use this game to sort of get your team kind of back back on the right track and come out and me, or and say, and you did come out and made a really emphatic first half statement. Just kind of talk about that half and how things unfolded. Yeah, this game meant, meant a lot to us. Um, you know, coming off that, that game in Chicago, not only did we lose, we lost in a way we didn't want to lose. And, uh, you know, we had we had to do a little bit of soul searching and figure out what are we really made of. And uh, it was about, it wasn't the soccer, but it was about the guts and the commitment to each and every play. And so um, I questioned the boys. I know they questioned each other. And uh, I, they, they stepped up and certainly delivered in that first half. We got a lot of respect for, for Detroit. It's a, it's a um, their record does not indicate uh, the level of play and level of dedication and commitment they make to, to each and every play. So, um I was really pleased with that first half. And obviously Bennett is, is the story. I mean, five first half goals for your team, and he's involved in all of them. I mean, just we know he can. We know he can do that. He's been had some streaks like that earlier in the year, but I mean, eight points and a half. That's pretty impressive. It's a pretty good half. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty good. Um, he's hungry, man. He's hungry. He's dangerous. He's been uh, quiet for a few games. Uh, Trace had been doing the scoring, getting the load there, and. Uh, you know, this was an opportunity for him to step up, challenge him, and man, did he he deliver. He um, and he was hungry for more. You know, even when we pulled him out, he was uh, he was disappointed because he wanted more. A couple of uh, former Falcons too on the sideline for the yeah. Denver Towers. Yeah, kind great. of seeing a couple of familiar faces. I'm so proud of those guys. Yeah, um, so good to see them. Um, Nate as a head coach, Logan as the uh, assistant coach. Uh, so good to see those guys. I feel for them a little bit because I've been on the other side of. Uh, this kind of game and uh, always feel for them there, but they'll pull through. They, I was really impressed with their commitment in the second half, kept pushing, kept pressing, and uh, they'll be ready for their conference. Aiden, you know, Aiden got his first uh, collegiate goal. You know, don't know if you played a lot freshman year, but now you've seen a couple of games this, this year, and you know, kind of what do you make of kind of that? He's good, man, he's good. He's crafty, he's busy. Um, he's not a, necessarily a, a forward. I think we had him at forward. Uh, he was forward and 10. Uh, but he can also score goals. So I'm really happy for Aiden, and I'm glad that he got on the field. And every time we put him on the field this year, he's done something quite quite positive. So it didn't surprise me at all that he scored. And I'm going to follow up with a similar question. You know, Ryko got his yep. first collegiate goal as well. I mean, you know, we've seen he's had games where he's one of the top players out there, but he really, not only the goal tonight, he really was dangerous at a lot of other times. Just talk about his progression, really the only freshman that's on the field for you this year with a veteran team. How, how his development is yeah going. he's the only freshman we have yeah yeah um, so uh, it was great to get him a start today and um, he's uh, we've been playing pretty well so it's been hard to get these guys in um, and Ryko has been doing nothing but good stuff along with Aiden along with some other guys and so to get guys in the game and, and for Ryko we had an opportunity to start him and uh, honestly uh, just like Aiden, it didn't surprise me that he scored. Uh, I actually even texted him today that he's going to score a goal, and he gave me the thumbs up, like, that. that yeah, that's the plan. And um, he, he's he got a lot of composure. He had a lot of composure on that goal, and he's really good in possession. He's tricky, works hard. He's got a lot of tools. And then you got a big match Saturday against Drake, you know, having a good year as well. Kind of what's the message and mentality going into that one? It's about us, you know, we'll look at Drake a little bit, but this was about getting us right. You know, we didn't like what we did on Saturday. And, and again, we've lost games before and sometimes you win, sometimes you lose, but it was more about uh, how we how we lost it. And so it was about getting us right. And um, so this, uh, even Saturday, it'll be, it'll be about us. You know, we need to be worried about BG and really competing the way we compete. And then uh, I think we got a chance. You know, I would never tell you how to do your job, but have you thought about maybe Saturday text a bunch of guys <laughs> and say they're going to score the score I, Well, I didn't tell you. I text everyone that every <laughs> game. <laughs> Any other questions? Thank you, sir.